Gloria Rubens here. She had already been a hit actress on ER. We all know her from there. Actually joined Tina Turner as a backup singer and dancer on her 24-7 mm. uh, tour. It's so good to see you. This is, you know, we're talking about her as a star, but you knew her intimately, and this is an, an actually a very sad day for a lot of people. What, it, what does her loss mean to you? Uh, well, she, um, you know, she literally, she did, she changed my life in it, in every way possible. Hmm. I didn't realize how, um, do you know, the possibilities if one just challenges themselves mm -hmm. and one just kind of has someone that says, you know what, you can do this. I remember when we met, um, it was uh, backstage, it was uh, actually at a meet and greet after a concert <laughs> she did. And that's, that was the beginning of of you know being around her for almost well, a full year. Will you tell that story yeah, because it's incredible. Story. You were already a well-known actress yeah. from ER. Everyone yes. watching is going to recognize yeah. you. Yeah. You meet her backstage, and what happens? Well, I had by that time I had already had discussions. I knew I wasn't going to uh, return as Jeannie Belay on ER for my own reasons. You know, I was kind of it was very emotionally mm -hmm. exhausting, and so I knew that I needed something different. The world hadn't known that yet. I didn't know what was going to be next. I just knew that I needed more music in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Music was always my first love. And then I met Tina. Mm. And we just kind of hit it off out of the gate, as she does with everybody, because mm -hmm. As she did, you know, because she was such this bright, she was plugged into a whole other different energy source, and she was the most generous person of spirit and of talent and of intelligence and of support and all of that. Very long story cut short, a few a couple of months later, I auditioned for Tina Turner. Well, she just looked at you and she said, and I think you're pretty. Do you want to come sing and dance? And you were like, okay. She did yes. say that. <laughs> like, I mean, that's incredible. Said, I know. Yeah. And then, but I did have to. I did audition oh. for but her. But did you she, think, oh, she's just saying oh, that. Yes, I'm never going to hear from them. A hundred percent. I walked out of there and I told everybody. I was like, she just said I should come on tour mm. with her. And, I, and then, but yes, I did end well, up. You know what I love about her too? She, she looked at you and she knew how beautiful <laughs> you were. And she said, please come join me. Mm. Her confidence was always on display. She, right? Exactly. And that's one of the things that she taught me without huh. it being, you know, is this, you can reach for anything. You can do anything. You can, you can overcome, you can walk through, and sometimes you got to fight your way through, through trauma and grief and the past. And you know what? It makes you who you are today. <laughs> and one of the things that we just heard her say, she's proud of how far she, mm -hmm. she, she came, you know? And I have to say that, um, at this time in my life, you know, that intention that I had then of wanting more music in my life, and then I met Tina. Mm. Lots of things are changing in my life right now, and so I've really been being uh, sorry. I've really been specific about what are my intentions? What are my intentions creatively, mm. personally, mm -hmm. spiritually, mm -hmm. psychologically, for everything, mm -hmm. every area of my life? What are my intentions? I may not know yeah. what the outcome will be. Yeah. I may not know how those intentions will come to fruition. All I need to do is just be clear and specific mm -hmm. and let the divine handle the rest because that's what happened with Tina. And so this is a reminder yeah. wow. how, this, how my experience with she, Tina she, is a reminder that we can all uh -huh. overcome and just be clear about what you want. Mm -hmm. You know, and keep the heart open, man. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Go for it. Yeah, man. Just do it because this morning I was looking through my, I usually don't talk, my voice is usually really calm. <laughs> But this means a great deal, you know. This is the message that she sent to the world. This morning I was looking at my closet and I thought, oh, gosh, it's a morning show. What am I going to wear? I should wear this. I'm like, no, you know what? I'm wearing this jumpsuit and I'm just like, because that's what Tina would wear. Oh, I'm just going to look like pow. Just bring it. Pow. Bring, bring it. it. You are pow. You are. You're an amazing bring it. human being. And, she, and Tina's still Sweet. teaching. This yes. is amazing. Yes. We Thank love you, Gloria. You. Thank you for coming to see us and for sharing me. such beautiful sentiments. You're about teaching your too. I mean, yeah. really, Gloria. Thank you so Thank much you. for having me. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Right. I mean, <laughs> Dylan, try following that. Incredible I learned bring moment. the pow. That's, yes, that's, that's what we pow. Pow. Every day. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.